now we have to identify this instrument so this instrument is of course a hand instrument and we'll have to understand the classification of the hand instrument used in the operative dentistry before we come to this question so if we just talk about the hand instruments these can be cutting hand instruments or the non cutting instruments so the cutting ones are going to be the excavators the chisels okay and other instruments while the non cutting are going to be your amalgam condenser mirrors explorers probes so non cutting are mirrors explorers probes and then your condensers amalgam condensers these are called the non cutting instruments now coming to the cutting instruments these are important for your exam also so we have two broad categories one is excavators and then we have the chisel so the excavators these are used for caries removal and the refinement of the internal parts of the preparation for example if you want to sharpen the internal line angles if you want to create some retentive features then you will be using the excavators okay so main function is going to be yes two main functions are there one is the caries removal and another function is going to be the refinement of internal parts or internal design of the preparation okay now if we talk about the chisels these are primarily used for the cutting of the enamel and they can further subdivided into straight chisel curved chisel bin angle chisel a lot of chisels are there okay so yes they can be the cutting instruments which are primarily the cutting instruments actually and these chisels can further be grouped into the yes the straight chisel then you have curved you have bin angle chisel now important thing is enamel hatchet and gmt that is gingival marginal tenons are also chisels so enamel hatchet and gingival marginal tenons are going to be the chisel now interesting thing here is the excavators you have your ordinary hatchet ordinary hatchet is in the excavator category while the enamel hatchet is in the chisel category other uh, excavators are hoe and then uh, another example is going to be your angle former angle former so these are important uh, classification and important instruments which we have to remember here for our exam now if i just uh, talk about the gingival marginal trimmer which is a kind of chisel the primary function is going to be cutting right now these are uh, basically are designed to produce a proper bevel or gingival enamel margins on the proximo occlusal preparation so whenever you are having the class 2 cavity and there will be proximo occlusal uh, line angle will be there right so in those cases uh, the pro, uh, in the proximo occlusal that means the class 2 preparation actually so uh, you want to uh, do some beveling right and there you use the gmt that is your gingival marginal trimmer now uh, if we just talk about the design of the gingival marginal trimmer so that is a fusion to enamel hatchet of enamel hatchet now this is also a kind of chisel and it is also a fusion of uh, uh, basically the enamel hatchet is there and the blade is basically curved okay so it looks like spoon excavator so sometimes they ask uh, the fusion of spoon excavator and enamel hatchet it is going to be completely like enamel hatchet only uh, only the tip is curved or the blade is curved and this particular curved blade feature is by from the spoon excavator so if you see this looks like hatchet only but you will be seeing yes there is a curve here and since the blade is curved you can see the curvature of the blade here and that's why it is called as gmt now there are two types of the gmt two types of gingival marginal trimmer one is for the right teeth or right side and another is the left sided one right 
Now, uh, yes, this is used for yeah, proper probe bevel, but also it is designed in the right and left pair also. Okay, so uh, it can be used either on the mesial pair or the distal pair. So, if the right one is also that can be mesial or the distal, same way the left one is also mesial or distal. Okay, so uh, how you are going to identify by the number itself? So, yes, we have formula, right? And in the formula, there are four numbers generally. So, if the second number in the dental formula or the instrument formula, when the second number is 9200 so the pair is going to be distal now if uh, when this number is between 85 to 75 the pair is the mesial one okay so 85 to 75 it is going to be the mesial number okay now 175 pairs are uh, means the number 175 number 75 pair are used for inlay and only preparation and in that if we want to give steep gingival bevels and 90 and 85 pairs are used for uh, amalgam preparation so sometimes they just ask you for the amalgam preparation so you have to remember 90 and 85 so yes 90 is going to be distal and 85 is going to be mesial here and if you talk about the inlay and only preparation inlay only preparation then the pair which is going to be here is going to be 175. 100 is for distal and 75 is for mesial. So basically there are right and left and in right and left also there are two pairs that is for mesial and distal that is what I am trying to say here. Now if we just talk about the other uses of GMT, yes rounding or beveling of the exopalpal line angle of the two surface preparation means uh, if you want to do the rounding or beveling of the exopalpal line angle, then you can use it. Exopalpal line angle. Okay. So, basically, the answer to this question is going to be your gingival marginal trimmer. And I have already discussed about the feature of this. If you just want to see the other kind of instrument in this particular case is going to be, this is going to be your enamel hatchet. If you see here, this is going to be your enamel hatchet right now in the enamel hatchet if you just curve the blade here if you just curve the blade here you will be able to see yes this has changed to the gmt okay now another important thing here in the enamel hatchet the blade angle here it will be just perpendicular here but this will be uh, other than 90 the angle here is going to be other than 90 in this particular case of GMT. So, that is the difference between enamel hatchet and GMT. Now, uh, if you see here, this is going to be your angle former and this one is going to be your Weddell's chisel. So, these are other uh, uh, basic things which we have to understand. So, you just uh, remember uh, the different figure here and you will be able to come to the right conclusion. So, the answer is going to be GMT.